as the war between Israel and Hamas leads to the loss of thousands of lives on each side. President Joe Biden will deliver a prime time address tonight from the Oval Office. He will make his case for the U.S. backing both Israel and Ukraine as it continues its fight against Russia. NBC's Gabe Gutierrez joins us live outside the White House. So, Gabe, this is going to be President Biden's third major address since this conflict broke out between Israel and Hamas. Of course, we're expecting to hear some sort of call for overseas aid. What could that look like? Uh, hi there, Vanessa and Colin. Well, yes, his third address since the conflict began, but actually it is the president's second Oval Office address since he took office. And this is seen as a way for a president to really uh, get the American people's attention in a moment of crisis, a prime time address from the Oval Office. As you said, he's expected to make the case directly to the American people why more aid, uh, more money for aid is needed, not just for Israel, but also Ukraine. And multiple sources tell NBC news that uh, tomorrow uh, the Biden administration is expected to ask Congress for a huge security aid package of around 100 billion dollars 60 billion of that money would go to Ukraine the other 40 million would be spread out throughout Israel and also Taiwan as well as US border security but there are a lot of unanswered questions about the timing of all that because as you know right now there is no US House speaker so Congress can't actually approve that aid but with regards to the speech. We understand the president has been working on it throughout the day. He did so on his uh, way back from that whirlwind trip to Israel uh, yesterday. And uh, we understand that the president earlier today also spoke with Ukrainian President Zelensky again, as he's expected to make a critical plea to the American people about why this aid is so necessary, given uh, all the conflict across the Middle East and also Ukraine. Back to you quickly here, Gabe. I know there's a lot ongoing, especially with the House Speaker, the holdup there in that process. With that, is there any support, obviously, is there enough support politically and really across the country to get this passed? And then with the absence of a House Speaker, where is this? Is this going to be held up then? Oh, well, yes. Uh, with no House Speaker, it, it will likely be held up until that's sorted out. But with regards to uh, aid for Israel, there does seem to be a lot of bipartisan support for that, except some progressive Democrats have come out against any more uh, aid to Israel. And on the Ukraine side, some conservative Republicans have been skeptical about giving more money uh, to Ukraine. So far, the U.S. has set aside more than $44 billion uh, for security aid to Ukraine, also tens of millions more in humanitarian aid. Again, this all comes as the president tries to, to sell that message directly to the American people in that primetime address tonight. Yeah. Colin, Vanessa? A lot of people obviously looking at that and then watching the debt as well rise uh, with this big aid package. Gabe, we appreciate your time there in D.C.